Hello loves and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be breaking down the full moon in Virgo that is happening on March 7th, 2023. Um, yeah, we got quite a bit to cover. I pulled some tarot. I put pulled, you know, some oracle cards so we can kind of talk about the energies. And we're going to be breaking down the astrology first. Before we get started, do not forget your to get your tickets for the spring equinox ceremony and celebration that we're going to be having um, to celebrate spring. We're going to be doing um, the whole workshop is going to be really cool. We have um, the workbook that's also launching um, for the year. So that's going to be fun. We're doing yearly tarot forecasts. We're going to build a celebratory um, altar for our spirits as well. It's going to be fun. Um, definitely check out the link down below for tickets. And as always, if you are a Patreon member on the High Priest, High Priestess level, you automatically have tickets. Uh, so with that being said, let's get... Oh, real quick. Do not forget to fill out the survey for the spiritual retreats. I'm still um, gathering information as to where everybody wants to go and ideas um, to places of where we can, you know, go and have a spiritual retreat. All right now, the number one location is Egypt. Are we surprised? No, we're not. But I definitely want to make sure that I'm planning the next couple of years properly. So definitely make sure you just click the link and vote. It doesn't take that long. It's like less than a minute for you to fill out the survey. I definitely would appreciate it. Now, with that being said, we are going to jump in and look at what is going on for this full moon. Definitely a lot of things going on in the world right now. It's a little crazy. So having a full moon in Virgo definitely gives us a little bit grounding during Pisces season um, and a little bit of a breath of fresh air, but it's definitely uh, mirrors that reflection um, that is very, very much needed, um, especially within the sister science energy. Um, there is definitely a need of reflection um, and healing right now. So we're going to dive in and we're going to talk about that. As always, we're going to start with the planetary positions because we always got to talk about that first. Um, you got to know where things are, right? Uh, so the sun is in Pisces, the moon will be in Virgo, um, Mercury will be in Pisces, Venus will be in Aries, Mars will be in Gemini, Jupiter will be in Aries, Saturn will be in Aquarius, Uranus will be in Taurus, Neptune will be in Pisces, and Pluto will be in Capricorn, okay? Um, so we have like a good, especially during this full moon, we have a nice cushion of earth energy um, with some water energy, some air energy, some fire energy. We have a lot of like you know, um, the, the different elements uh, playing through and playing their own specific role in a lot of the chaos that's happening right now, um, as as they should be. Um, now, when it comes to the aspects, um, the sun is in an opposition to the moon. Um, so there's definitely a lot going on emotionally and internally with how we've been reflecting, especially how we're navigating um, our own waters, our own emotions and the things that we're still processing. Um, about the things that are going on within our lives, uh, it can make it so we're feeling very um, nostalgic. Uh, we can we are feeling very kind of stuck in a moment, stuck in a, 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 a kind of thing that we're just getting to process. Um, this specific moon can you know lead to a place where you're trying to like come out of a just sitting and reflecting and reflecting and sitting on it without processing. And, and doing the healing work that desperately needs to be done um especially because the sun will also be in conjunction to mercury so there is the energy of mentally processing the truth mentally processing um and actively trying to understand and and reflect and heal so that you can actively move forward it's like okay what is what what do i know to be true what it is what is it that is conscious right now what is it that um is my truth what is it that is the truth of the situation and how am i reacting and connecting to it as well so there is a little bit of a a back and forth with your ego and your emotional energy where you might be feeling very reflective but like also at the same time like it's now the time to move forward um through the reflections that you've had um the sun will also be in a square with mars so there is a little bit of drama and a little bit of chaos um underlining a lot of changes and 
um, also triggering some changes. Um, be mindful with impulsive energies, especially because we do have Aries energies in the chart. Um, and Aries energies 1000% make us a lot more impulsive. Um, but specifically with our words, um, be mindful with communication, um, impulsivity with, you know, just saying things just to say something or lashing out just to lash out. Um, make sure that whatever you are saying, you, you understand the weight that is holding and the changes that can come from the words that you're saying as well. Don't just like lash out just to lash out because it can have consequences that you are going to have to navigate through later. Um, the sun will be in conjunction with Neptune. Um, and so it, this is definitely something that helps to keep things a little bit cloudy with the way things with everything that's happening collectively um Pisces energy um rules illusions so it rules lies it rules it can rule misinformation and things not being clear you not knowing certain things clearly but it can also be very illuminating um don't forget that Pisces also rules um spirituality that includes divination so it's it's consciously choosing to look for an answer not just kind of swim in a pool of maybes and I don't know and kind of and you know like it's actively trying to look for an answer that ultimately leads to that to the revelation um there there's definitely a sense of fantasy and internal um, romanticization you might be daydreaming a lot your dreams also might be very telling during this time this is specifically a great full moon to do some prophetic dreaming um some astral travel as well um especially if you need closure for something that needs to happen outside of your physical space um great time to do that if that's what you wanted to do but on a spiritual sense there is a nurturing um part of this specific full moon um, with the sun in conjunction with Neptune that allows us to kind of reveal the truth to ourselves and again go through that acceptance that we need in order to heal and transform. Um, it definitely also enhances your intuition especially throughout Pisces season um, while Neptune is in Pisces enhancing your intuition actively you know bringing the focus to the things that you specifically need to process um the things that you personally need to understand how you need to uh specifically evolve um and processing and clearing like clearing the air so that you can move forward later so there is this clarity that's coming in while neptune and pisces also rules illusions lies the subconscious mind seeing things through a lens seeing things um from a place that's not necessarily the, the super clear answer it can also reveal the truth which is a lot of what has been happening during pisces season a lot of truths came out as you guys may have known um and so that's truths okay that revelation these revelations that are happening can be healing they can be they can confirm a lot they can lead to a higher understanding and so take time to process that because that could also make you very sensitive as you're processing these informations um the moon will also be in an opposition to mercury so emotionally some of the downloads um that you know we're still we're processing we are as we are coming to our conclusions as with the truth is being revealed as things are coming into our consciousness as we are realizing and taking you know the steps to do what we need to do in order to get back on track um you know it's not always going to feel good the truth doesn't always feel good um sometimes it can feel really frustrating sometimes it's really shaky sometimes it feels like um it should be different or like it it, it you wish or you could have would have should have right it, it there's it can feel complicated sometimes it can feel like you are stuck or frustrated or um like you can't there's nothing that you can do to sh shake it um from what it is um and there's nothing that you can do to um alter the impact of how you're going to take it in and how you're going to react to it but it's still something that's necessary to process so emotionally it's like an uncomfortability of how you're processing um what the truth is and what you are accepting but it might it just it can be triggering sometimes it's like oh 
it's kind of like when we have an intuitive feeling and we're like oh my god i feel like it's this but i really hope it doesn't because if it's that and then your whole pit um your heart just sinks and your, your your gut sinks too and you're just like oh my god please don't be that please don't be that and then it ends up being that it's kind of like that so definitely within those moments it sucks because you're just like you want to deny your intuition the truth but it's the truth right um so that those moments can be frustrating but you are you will be seeing moments like that coming through as well the moon will also be in a square with mars um be very mindful with emotional tension there's definitely going to feel like a lot of unsaid or emotional tension between people um things that are kind of riling up people as well especially when it comes to the collective um because this full moon is in Virgo, when it comes to healing in the body, there's going to be a lot of developments and you might see um, some new stories coming up, especially from um, everything that's been happening in Ohio with the water system and everything like that and the leak and, and all of that kind of stuff. It's not easy to navigate as people will start to begin to get sick as they have already but it, it's definitely going to get worse and it's something that because of the chemicals that were leaked and you know the impact that that's going to have on people's bodies it's not going to be an easy conversation there's people that are going to like really be calling stuff out and and just sharing their experiences it's, it's going to feel a little bit triggering to what's going on um and how people are feeling about like the government and stuff like that so just be very you know very be very mindful of everybody else's like energies the heightened energy the emotional tension um especially depending on where you live in the united states it can feel very obviously it can feel very impactful um, um especially because as, especially when it comes to the water situation um the water doesn't just stay in one state that thing is flowing through different you know like the rivers flow through like state lines so um there's definitely a need for mindfulness when it comes to how you're taking care of your health and if stuff ends up coming crossing your state lines how you're going to handle it and preparedness awareness and all of that kind of stuff definitely highly recommend people stock up on water um i have like my water stock stockpiled me and babe have stockpiled water in our pantry because you can't we can't we don't know what's going to happen and if something happens we need to make sure that we have you know something there to like sustain us through the process because it's not like the way the government is just not taking care of the people right now is really really crazy but that's another conversation for another day um the moon will be in a trine with uranus there is a little bit of a collective um emotional tension that we're talking about um there's also a little bit of chaos there's some people that will be actively lashing out or speaking out or doing things out of their own emotional chaos and out of just trying to like start shit or um feeling like they need to say what they need to say but it might be out of um sustaining their own emotional like their own pride or their own like kind of safety like emotional safety like when when you're trying to protect your emotional peace but like you didn't you don't have to say the next thing that you're going to say because it's going to completely change the whole thing but you're just trying to have a leg up kind of thing it feels like there is um there's a little bit of there's that definitely an emphasis on liberation and freedom um if you are someone who's like in a relationship or you've been having tensions within the relationship or like a separation is in play or in progress or something like that there's definitely a okay i'm done kind of moment um during this specific full moon um and full moons are very much a closure uh type of moon so um being very mindful of how you know this is also coming up but it could definitely feel like this energy of detachment wanting freedom wanting to kind of like just leave um and just kind of take a step back from whatever's going on um the moon will also be in an opposition to neptune so when i tell you the when it comes to like the the messages they're very very clear um and this is why i'm not surprised that one of the cards that we got is heavenly signs um because the messages the the clarity of this is what the truth is is like in your face like you cannot deny this part like this 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 is the truth and so there's this energy of the clarity is in the pudding the truth the proof is in the pudding you're getting very clear signs very clear messages from spirit 
um, especially when it comes to the direction you're taking. Um, there's definitely a lot of grounding there as well. I, this is one saying, make sure if you're great time to do dream work, prophetic dreaming, what you should expect, working with the ancestors, um, doing divination as well. If you need a reading, get a reading and stuff like that. Um, really good time to look into that aspect as well. Venus will be in conjunction to Jupiter. So there is a potential of if you are having um, relationship issues, you could see some relationship issues just blow up out of proportion. Um, if you are, you know, having or in a good place or actively trying to get in a more grounded state within your relationship, you can see the direction turning in that direction as well. Um, but there's definitely a focus on amplifying happiness and um, success as well. So this is um, really good for this moon, especially if you're, let's say you're trying to heal your finances, if you're trying to heal um, your relationships, financial like um, struggles or anything like that this would be a, a good moon um, to work with that, especially with the Venus in conjunction to Jupiter. It amplifies the money and pleasure as well as the love, um, but it can also, you know, if there are issues that are not being dealt with, it can also amplify um, and, you know, blow things out of proportion or make things bigger so change comes in and it happens at the same time. Um, but yeah, there's definitely um, a good uh, chance for material gain um, and especially financial gain or um, a physical realm like manifesting something in the physical reality. Um, Mars will also be in a square with Neptune. Um, and so this is definitely going to, if you're, if you've been, uh, working against yourself or if you've been, um, getting in your own way, if you've been, you know, not in the right space, not, not like in the clear, like you're just like really not letting yourself shine or go in the, in the right direction. Um, you're going to be seeing, um, how especially when it comes to your dreams or your divination like the messages are going to be very very clear um you're going to get very very clear signs of like hey hey um so you need to bring this into balance you've been leaving this like this and you need to um act on it now you need to take back control you need to take back the narrative you need to like refocus rewire um because your actions have been getting in the way the lack of acting or the lack of your you know choosing or doing what you need to do it's getting in the way now so it's time for you to get it together um so yeah there's this energy of um if you know especially if, if you know the message or the if, or if something has been divined or like let's say you're pulling tarot or oracle or, or you're meditating on your ancestors and your ancestors say hey like you know don't don't go in this direction there's a reason why blah 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 you still go in that direction you will see why you should have listened i'll just leave it there i'll leave it at that but when it comes to the cards um so bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles and the star card so there's an aspect of destiny that is being triggered here um and there's an abs aspect of our own grounding and again because it's, the full moon is in virgo and virgo is an earth sign it's gonna amplify the focus on what needs to be healed so that you can be in a good solid place and this is a really good thing to make sure you're doing getting that closure healing from the thing before the beginning of the next astrological year which is happening this month this month it's really really important for you to do so um when it comes to the oracle the, the tarot uh we have the two of pentacles okay we have the ace of wands and that's that aries energy and a lot of that combative energy that's happening uh we have the ten of cups um some of you are definitely wanting to manifest this solid kind of um relationship or, or have this vision for it um especially with the sun's energy but then we're also getting the devil energy so there's there's this aspect of needing to control um needing to ground needing to you know bring into balance and um it's like whatever's not making you happy you have to take it upon yourself to address that now um that's what 
part of what you need to heal is needing to look at how your lack of action has created a space for certain things to just cross lines that you would have never wanted them to cross. Um, it's important now for you to actively, again, remember when how I've been saying hold your vision and, and think about holding that vision? That's that Ten of Cups energy. There's a need of like looking at the larger picture, like, hey, like, why are you even doing this? What is the whole point of this? Think about what your intention is. What's the point of this whole entire thing? Um, it's that Ten of Cups energy. And so with the sun and the devil, it's like, there's some, there is this energy of needing to release a relationship um, out of not being happy. Okay, so there's there so for some it's gonna look like a liberation um, and a regrounding that's happening as well. But for others, this is definitely a realignment and bringing in balance to your life um, so that you can stay on track with yourself and that you can, you know, take back your power and take back your control a little bit and have a little bit more, you know, peace um instead of being kind of like torn and pulled in different directions with what's going on in your life um so aside from the heavenly signs okay we're also getting realizations and epiphanies because there's a lot that there's a lot of breakthroughs that's happening that's part of the process of this two of balance here and the healing and the balancing that is happening there's a lot of realizations there's a lot of processing remember Pisces season is about reflection, it's about your mental health, it's about your emotional health, it's about the things that you've gone through and how you're processing the things that you've experienced. Um, so there is definitely this, you know, mental process that's happening that's ultimately going to reveal and again that with that mercury everything we talked about with mercury and realizations and what is coming into your consciousness and how the truth is being um illuminated into your consciousness there's a lot of that where you're going to be like oh it's like a little bit of a breath and you get to release that there um we're also getting new exercise program and volunteer so for some of you, especially with the Aries energy in the chart, you're definitely going to be um, triggered with this Ace of Wands here to, um, you know, get a little bit more active, which I do recommend, especially if you need to release energy, um, get a little active. Um, for others, some of you are being called to volunteer or spend time within the collective, with, whether it's you're helping someone or you, you need, um, there's something that you feel like you are called to do right now. Um, great thing to focus on right now as well uh you are also getting relaxed delight in the powdered gold sunshine um and that's definitely 1000 percent valid especially with the fact that we got the sun's energy but it's also like y'all have to understand pisces rules dreams so that includes how your sleeping schedule is i know mine is completely wrecked right now <laughs> um but yeah i gotta fix my sleeping schedule it's gonna happen um but there is a need for rest and relaxation and like kind of a chill kind of keeping your energy very chill very um lucid in many ways um so make sure that you are taking breaks and just spending time whether it's been na with nature with your pets wh whatever it is like just chill we're also getting beauty dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable okay um this is also because Pisces also rules illusions and rules glamour that includes glamour magic um this is a great time for you to kind of play with your um with glamour if you wanted to um especially if you are you know you don't want people to see through everything that you're going through and you kind of need to put a little bit wall of a wall up um in that regard highly recommend glamour magic um it can also help to bring up your self-esteem a lot of people think glamour magic is just about trapping other people in your this fake idea of uh, like power which is really not it can be very empowering um to do glamour magic and to you know call in that power within yourself and exude that as well so make sure that you're taking time for yourself as well and then we have self-care tend to your gar garden and this is what i mean by make sure that you are um in this space where you are holding that vision and you're reanalyzing how you are looking for control how you are um needing to address the current situation how you are regrounding and getting back on track with your destiny so that you're like on the same page with yourself that's super important um 
so that is the messages that I'm getting, my loves. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for um, subscribing, for all doing all the things to the Patreon members and everybody. I love you guys so much. I will see you on the next video. Have a very blessed night.